Hello everyone, my name is Francesca Guadagnini. I am working as a product designer at Cystic and I am based in Milan. So this presentation is about Prometheus and plants. And I have many plants at home, way too many, and their number even increased during COVID. And plants are great, right? They decrease our stress level, they make our house look pretty, but it's not always easy to know what your needs are. And so in many times, uh, many times we just need to guess when we have to water them, for example. And so in this presentation, we will see how to leverage on Prometheus to build a monitoring system to let them grow strong and, and healthy. This project has been done using Cystic because I'm working at Cystic, but it can be done, for example, using Grafana or any other options that you prefer. But why Prometheus? So we all know that Prometheus allows us to monitor cloud native applications at Kubernetes, but there's much more and it's very flexible and it can be used for some more creative and experimental hobby projects, for example, to measure um, the energy produced by our solar panels or to uh, like in the home automation field, or you can even use Prometheus to cook a perfect ham at home. And why not also to monitor plants? So what will you need for this project? You will need some Bluetooth sensors. Uh, these ones are the ones that I got because I found an exporter for them. So I knew that they were working. Um, a Raspberry Pi, I got a four, but you can use any Pi with Bluetooth. And you will need a micro SD plus an adapter just in case you need to install the operating system on the Pi. And of course you need some plans to monitor. So which metrics will you receive with these sensors? You will receive the light and the temperature of the environment. You will receive <clears throat> the moisture and the fertility of the soil. Uh, the fertility is measured based on the conductivity of the soil, which changes depending on the minerals, for example, if you use a fertilizer, um, and the sensor battery. And how does this work? So uh, the sensors come with an app, so you can check on the app if all the sensors are working before setting them on the Pi. And on the app, you will also find for each specific plant type, their minimum values, such as the minimum light that they need to receive during the day, the minimum moisture, and so just take note of them because we will need them later when setting the thresholds. Um, so on your Pi, just detect the Bluetooth devices around you and take note of their MAC addresses. And then you will need to install Prometheus and in the Prometheus configuration file, we will specify where we will push the metrics, in this case, to Cystic. And you can also specify some custom labels. For example, I specified Gardener Francesca. And once you've done this, uh, you can install the flower exporter. The one that I got um, was written in Go, is written in Go, so I had to install Go as well. And um, in the flower exporter, uh, what you need to do is to associate for each MAC address the name of the plant. So then it would be easier to identify uh, the plant by its name. And once you've done that, uh, it's done, right? And so what will happen is that your plants now have a voice and they will start talking to you. And you can set some alerts, for example, using a simple PromQL query and be notified when you reach some specific thresholds and when you cross them. And um, you can also set an overview uh, of all of them using a dashboard, for example. And this is the one that I created. Uh, and so I have some panels specifically uh, for some specific plants, while some other group them all together. And you just set them with a simple query. And these thresholds are the ones I was talking about before. So if the value is below 15, it means that you need to water this plant, while if it's over 16, it means that you're definitely overwatering. And these thresholds are this, these values are the same one that you will use when setting an alert, again, using PromQL. And these are the values that you take, uh, you need to take into consideration when setting them. And so that's all. Um, I want to thank Robert Jacob for the exporter because I just found it on GitHub and it's working great. So great job. And, uh, but is it actually working? Yes, uh, all the plants are growing happy and healthy and I don't need to guess anymore on when I need to water them or the light is enough. And so absolutely it's working great. Um, so thank you very much for your attention. I hope that this uh, project will inspire you for any other hobby project and enjoy PromCom.